Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over 2006 USAMO problem number four. Here's a view of this problem. Find all integers n such that there are k greater than or equal to two positive rational numbers, well, a sub one, a sub two, all the way to a sub k, where the largest of the index is k, satisfying the following equality conditions. The first thing that comes to mind is to apply the AMGM inequality here because we have a summation, a product, and that surely will give us some, some result. But before I do that, I would like to also consider under which, like test out some, uh, some values of N and then see if it, this equality condition holds. For instance, it's easy to check that this result holds for N is equal to 4 or six, seven works, and so on. So ultimately, once you do all the uh, algebra, it turns out um, the solutions that work are the following. So part one, I would like to show that n in four, six, seven, eight, and so on, satisfy condition, satisfies this condition, and pretty much one, two, three, and five fail to satisfy this condition. So the proof, I will split it into two parts. Uh, well, the first part of the pro uh, proof, I will split it into two sections. In the first section, I will prove the even case. So if n turns out to be greater than or equal to four, in fact, because it's an even case, um, yeah, let me also mention that it's an even case, so that equals to 2k is greater than or equal to 4. Then it's possible to set a sub 1, those desired numbers, to k, 2, 1, and the rest is pretty much 1. Now observe that, and in this case, obviously, you need to have at least 4 numbers. But observe that a1 plus a2 plus all the way to a sub k is simply equal to k plus 2 plus 1, k minus 2 of them, 1s. So that thing is equal to k minus 1, so that would be k plus 2 plus 1 times k minus 2, which is equal to 2k. Sure enough, 2k is simply equal to n, and that works. On the other hand, their product, a sub k, that is equal to k times 2 times 1, obviously, times 1. And that's, again, 2k, which is equal to n. So, therefore, uh, this construction is a good one. So, let's highlight that. So, this construction is good and it works for all even numbers greater than or equal to 4. So, let's write that down. The the even cases work. Now the second case is the case when n is an odd number. Uh, so if n is equal to 2k plus 3, um, which is greater than or equal to 9, then uh, we can set the a sub i, uh, a sub 1 through a sub k, equal to um, the following, k plus three halves, uh, the second one would be one half, and four, and the rest is a bunch of ones. In this uh, construction, we just realize that a1 plus a k, the sum of these k numbers is equal to k plus three halves, plus one half, plus four, and then a bunch of ones. To be exact, we have k minus 3 ones here. k minus 3 ones. So when you add these things up, you should get 2k plus 3, which turns out to be equal to n as well. And when you multiply them, k plus 3 halves times 1 half times 4 times 1, a bunch of ones that should give us 2k plus 
we again uh, which is equal to n as well so therefore in the odd case odd numbers greater than or equal to 9 again we can see that it's possible to find these k numbers uh, k rational numbers which satisfy this equality condition given in the problem there's only one special case and that's the case of 7 an odd number less than 9 which is 7 and for 7 it's possible to find a direct uh, construction so it turns out that for 7 you can write we, we can find three rational numbers which does the trick in the in this case 4 over 3 uh, 7 over 6 and 9 over 2 sure enough you can check that 4 over 3 plus 7 over 6 plus 9 over 2 is actually equal to 4 over 3 times 7 over 6 times 9 over 2 here and that whole thing is just equal to 7 because you can see immediately there will be some cancellations and you will get 7 which is equal to n here so we are done with the first part of our proof where we showed that uh, it is possible to find k rational numbers for the following n values of n now in the second part we will show that it's not possible to find k numbers k rational numbers which satisfy the equality condition for uh, for the remaining numbers so i will go ahead and open a new page here and so we would have the part two so in part two show that n in the range one two three five does not satisfy uh, equality conditions so for that i will propose an argument by contradiction huh? so in that case on the contrary let there be k greater than or equal to two rational numbers whose sum and product all the way to a k which is equal to n for n in in that set so one two three five and then let's see if we can find out a contradiction well as we said earlier in the problem you, this uh, equality condition reminds us of the amgm inequality sure enough um, to remind you of the amgm inequality uh, we know that the kth root of a their product is less than or equal to well a1 their sum divided by k now recall that the, the, the sum of the numbers is equal to n so therefore that would seem to be n over k here and recall also that the their product is also n so therefore that would be n raised to the power 1 over k here so this implies that the condition can equivalently be written as n if i take the k power of both sides greater than or equal to well, I, I can go ahead and move that to the right hand side and move that k to the left hand side and do the algebra here. So we should get k over k minus 1, which is actually equal to k um, raised to 1 plus 1 over k minus 1. So whenever uh, k is greater than or equal to 3, it turns out n comes out as strictly greater than 5. So let, let, let me test that claim. So what I mean is k greater than or equal to five, uh, 3, I should say, implies, so that's my claim here, n is strictly greater than 5. So that's my claim. Um, let me open a new page. And on that new page, we can uh, look at uh, the implications of this claim okay here you go so let's try with small uh, case so let's prove this statement let's check what happens when k is actually equal to 3 so given our inequality let me remind you of the inequality we found at the very last step 1 plus 1 over k minus 1 so we are applying this inequality here so when k is equal to 3 we realize that n is greater than or equal to 3 raised to the power one over one half one. so it's it's really three root three i guess five points um i think it's like one or i, I actually it's it's closer to two five point two 
which is strictly greater than 5. So that won't work for sure because remember we are trying to, to find an n less than 5 and which is not 4. So for k is equal to 4, uh, n would be greater than or equal to 4 raised to the power uh, 1 plus uh, 1 over 3, which is 4 over 3, which is uh, 4 times cubic root of 4. And again, that is for sure greater than 5. Finally, when k is greater than or equal to 5, then there's nothing to do because, I mean, so you already have a number which is greater than 5. Uh, let me write it down first. So uh, 1 over k minus 1. We know k is greater than or equal to 5. So therefore this whole thing is greater than or equal to 5. 1 plus 1 over uh, 5 minus 1 which is 4. And sure this is greater than 1. So this is strictly greater than 5 again. So for none of these cases we would get an n greater than 5. So the only remaining option is what happens when k so we have the, the remaining case, which is uh, k is actually equal to 2. So in that case, so what we need is to find two numbers, a1 and a2, uh, whose sum and product is equal to n for n uh, in the range 1, 2, 3, and 5. So in this case, uh, once you do the, um, the calculations, this should imply that uh, n is actually equal to a1 squared. By substitution, you can easily see that. a1 minus 1. And this implies a1 satisfies the following quadratic expression. Uh, and what's, what this implies further is that, uh, well, it turns out there is no rational solutions to this quadratic. There's only irrational solutions. And as a result, uh, that case also fails to give us an, an n less than 5. So that actually uh, solves this problem and, uh, and, and, and we're pretty much done.